This video will help you to run cables through the Experian Orion console. Before you begin, you will need cable ties, which are located in the toolkit. You will also need scissors or a wire cutter. To make it easier to manage the cable runs, remove all cable covers from the Experian Orion console. Starting at the rear of the slat rails, remove the slat wall back cover. There is one thumb screw at each end of the slat wall back cover. Pull down on the thumb screws and then remove the cover. Remove the slat rail post cover. Repeat on the other side of the console. Remove the console feet cover. Then remove the rear console leg cover. Repeat on the other side of the console. Remove the lower raceway cover. If this Experion Orion console is for the North American region, the slat wall cavity will contain the power strip cable for the power strip located on the slat wall. Unfasten the power cable. Pull the power cable end through the slat rail into the slat rail post and down into the flexible cable track. Thread the cable through the flexible cable track and then over and down into the console leg. Pull the cable across the lower raceway to the power strip. Push the power cable plug into the power strip. Repeat these steps for the slat wall power strip on the other side of the console. If this Experion Orion console is for regions outside of North America, the flexible cable track will contain the power cable for the slat wall power strips. Pull the cable up from the flexible cable track and into the slat rail posts. Pull the cable across from the slat rail posts and into the slat wall cavity. Push the power cable plug into the power strip. Repeat these steps for the slat wall power cable on the other side of the console. The cable for the work surface lift control is threaded under the work surface and then into the slat rail post. In the flexible cable track, locate the cable with the coupler attached which connects to the lift control located under the lower raceway. Under the slat rail post, locate the end of the work surface lift control cable. Connect the two cables together and store the cable links in the slat rail post. You will need to thread the safety pressure tape cable from the underside of the work surface through the flexible cable track and console legs and through to the lower raceway. If this safety pressure tape is activated, the movement of the lift column stops. The lift control dongle is supplied unconnected and is located in the lower raceway. The lift control dongle supports the connection of the lift column as well as the safety pressure tape switch. Remove the existing cable connected to port 1 on the lift column control. Push the lift control dongle cable into port 1 in the lift column control. On the other end of the lift control dongle, push in the work surface control cable and push in the safety pressure tape cable. In each flexible cable track is an alarm light cable that needs to be connected to the corresponding cable located in the slat wall cavity. Pull the alarm light cable up from the flexible cable track and into the slat rail posts, and then pull it across the back of the slat wall cavity. Connect the two parts of the alarm light cable together. The alarm light cable can be secured within the slat wall cavity using cable ties. Repeat these steps for the alarm light cable on the other side of the console. Power cables for the monitors are connected to the power outlets on the slat wall. Push any excess cable length through the brush grommet and into the slat wall cavity. Within the slat wall cavity, excess cable lengths can be secured using cable ties. HDMI monitor cables are threaded through the brush grommets into the slat wall cavity. The minimum cable length from the slat wall to the equipment tray is 3.35 meters or 11 feet. Thread the cable along the slat wall and down into the slat rail post. Pull the cable down the slat rail post and into the flexible cable track. Thread the cable through the opening in the equipment tray and onto the cable tray above the workstation. Excess cable length can be secured and rested on the cable tray. Connect the HDMI cable to the workstation. USB and other device cables are threaded through the opening under the work surface power socket lid. 
open the work surface power socket lid and thread the cable through the opening. You can move the cable along the work surface slot to the required location. Under the work surface, thread the cable through the under work surface cable management and into the flexible cable track. Thread the cable through the opening in the equipment tray and then connect it to the related equipment. Work surface devices that require power can be connected to the work surface power sockets located under the work surface power socket lid. Excess cable lengths can be threaded through the opening and secured away in the under work surface cable management. The power cable for the work surface power sockets is secured to the work surface. Unfasten the cable. Pull the cable down into the flexible cable track. Thread the cable through the opening in the equipment tray and then push the power cable plug into the power strip. You can find other videos at www.honeywellprocess.com forward slash support.